begin to harvest after it starts to heat up a little bit, you can start to see this tree start stretching because the heat starts to come back overnight to where the heat at night is over 60, 70 degrees. So it's also based on time. So we know given the time frame of when the heat and the rains are high, then also when the season is transitioning down into a cooler season, those are key moments to harvest. We know when it's coming up into a, into a heated time frame, we know that's a key moment to harvest. And then one of the reasons why I'm bringing this whole situation up is because Stephen was asking, you know, how much can I make? This is the big question, right? How much can I make? How much money can I make? And I told him, I said, I said it really depends based on your region. And also the intensity of your planting depends if you have 10 trees or 50 trees or 10,000 trees or 50,000 trees given the space. Mind you, I'm on a half an acre. I'm on two and a half acres, right? But within that two and a half acres, I'm really only farming in this half acre. And on this half acre, I have 50,000 trees now sprouting in this half acre. Last year, I only had like 400 big trees in here. And then I had inside of my raised beds over here, I had I had about 30,000 just within this little area of raised bed area here. Now this year, I have about 50,000 and a half acre. I don't really have too much right now in the raised beds. I haven't gotten to that yet, but I still can plant that out. It just hasn't started to rain yet. So I've just been kind of waiting for the rainy season to start. So that way I can go ahead and weed those beds. They'll be essentially pretty much emptied out. And then when the rains start, without me having to be out there every day watering, I can just use the season to essentially sprout them very quickly. But it hasn't begun to rain yet. And then in the back area, I have about 10,000 seedlings inside of pots. And then I have about 3,000 seedlings coming up in the greenhouse. So 50, 63, I may end up having about, um, essentially almost 100,000 by the time that we're finished this summer, I'll have 100,000 possibly had planted this year on the property. So it's also about the intensity of the operation. So, what I told Stephen, I said, you're already visiting these places once a month, right? So we've got March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, and then essentially November is when we go into that kind of dormancy again here in this area. If he's already going to a family once a month to cut their trees, landscape, trim, weed already, then what we introduce to him is the idea of this upsell where he's already getting paid maybe on a subscription basis. He might already have a house that's paying him $100 a month for, say, the cutting, the trimming the edging and the basic landscape work with his mower and grass cuttings and things like that, which is a great business to have on that subscription model. What I offered him as an idea is while he's already doing that, he can upsell them on a commercial for a commercial operation, right? Um, he can upsell them fertilizer. Hey, Every time I come out once a month, twice a month for an extra, say, $50, I could apply this Moringa biostimulant to your grass, your herbs, your raised beds, your trees, especially if they have fruit trees, as a regular feeding. And 
he may be able to purchase these items in bulk, like say five gallon buckets of the, of the extract or even possibly several hundred pounds of the powder. He could purchase these in a bulk fashion. So that way when he's actually spending the, the product, let's just say it's $50, he wouldn't want to say maybe put more than 20 to $25 worth of product at wholesale that he spent on that. So that way he's at least doubling his money on that upsell, right? So he would be applying fertilizer. He could apply fertilizer. That fertilizer application could be a USDA certified organic fertilizer with no nitrates. In a sense, uh, what's what, what was that that we were saying last year, last summer and the summer before? Um, it's going down the drain like a, uh... oh, red tide, red tide. Here in Florida, one of the major issues with our fertilizers is that they leach into the aquifers, they're going into the storm systems and they're being put